Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Today I'm going to talk about the forehand and I want to make sure that if you learn your forehand that you learn it correct from the start. This video is more for beginners, but advanced players also can take something out of it. So whenever, like you probably heard about like slapping your forehand, like ha having to move through the ball and so on. So sometimes it causes an ending of the shot like this, when your the surface of the racket that you hit with in the end faces your body. You want to avoid that, okay? So whenever you hit, you have to try to hit in a way that the surface that you hit with follow through more and then you lift the top of the frame here like this. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret how it happens. Like if you do everything correctly, most likely you will avoid that mistake. So if you use your upper body rotation, most likely your arm will go the right way naturally. When does this appear? This appears when you're trying to force the movement by hitting with the muscles of your arm like this. When you're not using your upper body rotation, but you're just trying to hit the ball with your arm. All right, so in order to learn a forehand the correct way, you have to start by setting up a little bit earlier and trying to rotate your upper body. That way you will avoid this horrible mistake that you'll have to fix anyway. Like if you continue and you stick with tennis, this shouldn't be happening for multiple reasons. <laughs> First of all, you want to keep the face of the racket pointing towards the direction where you're hitting. So you're following through the direction of the ball where you're hitting. If you, uh, if you force the movement and you kind of like slap the ball to get to this ending, that means that your, uh, your racket head goes off of the ball way earlier. All right, so you have less control because you have to move through. Second of all, you'll have a great lack of spin. That way you can only like tap the ball inside the court. You'll have no power again because you're just using a small group of muscles. Like for example, your wrist, yes, it might be super strong, but still we can't argue about it. And we can uh, agree on the fact that your upper body rotation is way stronger than just a tap of the wrist. So these are like critical moments that really affect your shot. You want to have a follow through. You want to have top spin or being able to hit a top spin shot if you choose to do it. So that is why you should try to have a correct swing path on your forehand with the face of your racket that is meeting the ball going like um, going towards the ball and finishing it over here rather than hitting with your arm and just leading your arm towards your body. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.